Good day. So today I wanted to talk a bit about act safety and how to protect yourself. Now, of course, the most important thing is good technique and knowing what you're doing. You know where to stand, how to put the axe in, um, all those sort of things. That's more important. But having a plan B or a bit of PPE is always a good idea. So a lot of people recommend um, steel-toed boots and you know like heavy leather boots that's fine but today i want to do some testing a lot of timber sports guys wear um, trainers with chainmail underneath but uh, well, i'm also going to test a pair of trainers so here's an example of bad chopping my feet are splayed apart for balance however despite wearing a steel toe i'm exposing myself to a cut the steel toe only protects the front of the foot and by having your foot side on it's unprotected. Moving your feet so the steel toe is always facing the axe is a good idea. It improves your accuracy and also means you actually get the benefit of the steel toe. So when you make each side of the cut you move your feet to bring it back in line. I'm going to test a pair of uh, trainers as well. A lot of timber sports guys wear trainers with chainmail under but uh, without the chainmail they're next to useless. I'm going to show you why. A lot of people make the mistake and think they're only just wearing the trainers, but pretty much all steel timber sports guys wear chainmail all the time for good reason. As you can see, a glancing blow is severed halfway into the foot. This is just a shoe with sand in it and screwed to the block of wood. So with your body weight in there the damage would be potentially more because there's more body weight pushing down and holding it stable. But not a nice injury that would take a lot of work to um, repair and potentially you've going to have problems the rest of your life. Now for a standard work boot, it's got a steel toe, pretty heavy due to leather, um, quite a thick rubber sole as well. Now I don't, I don't see the point in breaking my axe by hitting the steel toe. Other people have hit a steel toe of axe and it um, just wrecks the axe really and sort of bends the steel toe space slightly. You're never going to cut for it. So what I'm doing is simulating you're not moving your feet and leaving your side of your foot exposed. Well that really didn't do too much damage. It's a nasty example and uh, you probably need to change your underpants after that. That's a proper hit and you can see a little bit less damage than to the trainer. The leather did give a bit more resistance, but I think particularly the thicker rubber sole was giving more protection. However, still, that will be the inside of your foot, you're probably your big toe severed off and uh, all the tendons behind that. So, without your big toe, you're not going to be walking too good anyway. However, slightly better than the sneakers. However, slightly better as still both cases a trip to the hospital and you know some walking problems for a while at least so probably don't stand on logs if you've not got the protection and experience however here's an example of something everybody does which is split wood and an example of how that can go wrong obviously good technique is keeping the handle parallel however if you're using a short handled axe the axe can slip off the log and come into your shin or um, ankle and again the steel toe wouldn't have protected there the steel toe only covers the toe so it doesn't provide any protection from the front of your foot or your ankle or your shin so essentially steel toes are a replacement for experience and good technique there's an example on the TV series Alone UK where someone put an axe in their shin and that was felling a tree. His main blunder being felling the tree too high up and having his legs in the way. So the best protection is chain mail. This is 
specifically for axe competitions. You can see you've got a chainmail that goes around your foot and then a shin guard as well. Really well made stuff that um, I've seen personally stop people getting cut. Pretty easy to put on. You drape it over the front of your, your toes and then putting a bit more material on the inside of your foot. Tie the shin guards round with hooks. And then when you're putting it into the shoe you just make sure the inside of your foot has it tucked round to protect the side of your foot and a bit underneath the foot as well. I'm not going to break my chain mail to prove a point but I have seen it personally protect um, and there's videos online that I'll leave a link to. I mean it's worth mentioning you can combine chain mail and steel toe cap boots for the best protection but um, the main advantage of chain mail is you can wear sneakers now improve your balance and your grip when standing on logs. The chainmail costs about $200 uh, but I think it's well worth it for the peace of mind that you've got some protection and you know it saves you a hospital trip and the time off work. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested from where I got mine. So thank you for watching and I hope this was informative.